Now, for the first time in F1, my team, we race at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And also, this happens to be probably my strongest track on the entire game. So, we can no longer win the championship. If you want to see why that is the case, then go check out the previous episode. I'll leave a link up in the top right. But yeah, before we jump into spoilers, pretty much, you get the gist. Go check it out because more things happened. But yeah, this one is a good race for us. And I plan on making it. A very very solid result now then this weekend there is no upgrades on the car we do have the final two upgrades on the way for the brakes i took the plunge in the last episode i went ahead and bought them and they're going to arrive for the finale in abu dhabi so we'll see if that makes a difference to the car performance especially uh, for michael schumacher with that said let's talk about the last race now we dnf'd yet again in the last one our second dnf of the season and I think actually a third, I can't even remember now. Either way, this time it was the control electronics. You can see here, we don't have an extra one available. So in other words, we're gonna have to take a penalty before the weekend's even started, which is terrible news because I was hoping to actually go for pole and win this race. I really think my pace is that strong around here. You know, it's um, even in league racing, I was, you know, quite fast around here. So. Yeah, we're going to take a full engine pretty much except for the NGUH because we recently put on number three and we're going to just send it with a brand new power unit from the back of the grid and give it absolutely everything we're not going to qualify we're just going to commit to starting last and going for a flat out 100 percent you know effort race and seeing if we can get something at the end of it now we're going to jump into qualifying i'm not going to take part in it like i normally would but i want to see what my pace is like you join me at the end of my first push lap and you can see I've already invalidated. I did it a bit earlier on in the lap, but I wanted to invalidate on purpose um, so that way I could finish the lap and see what my pace was without the lap actually counting. And you're going to see here, we're going to do a 23.3 on my first lap in Q1 without any real, you know, pushing really. Um, that would have given us a top six at the end of Q1, top seven. Um, but, you know, that was without pushing. So, yeah. The pace was there, I could tell after qualifying, and there was more time to find. Either way, uh, we're going to start from P22 for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, so let's send it. Last to first, brand new circuit in my team. It should be a fun race. You guys know by now, if you watch my league racing content, you will know I'm fast here. I'll leave that video linked up in the top right. It was my best ever league race on this game so far in the dry conditions. A race where I challenged, you know, Jan Otmir, the reigning two-time F1 Esports World Champion, uh, for a race win. So... If you haven't seen it, check it out. But yeah, that's kind of the context. And we're going to commit to this race and send it big time. So let's jump into it. Leave a like if you're going to enjoy it. And let's see what happens. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday. And he starts from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, and Vettel, Leclerc, Russell, Sainz and Daniel Ricciardo, Michael Schumacher, Ocon, Lance Stroll and Giovinazzi, Lundgaard, Latifi, Callum Eilert and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, Martinez, Sonoda and Nobuharu Matsushita. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Well, here we are then for the first ever Saudi Arabian Grand Prix in F1 2021. My team, it's been a long time coming, but I'm very, very excited about this one. Personally, I love the track. I really enjoy it. The more I race it, the more I like it. And I think it's really, really satisfying when you hook it up. So after practice and qualifying, we do seem to be very strong here. It does help that it's one of my strongest tracks in the game. And also the AI aren't that great here anyway. So... Yeah, we're going to have a decent race ahead of us. I do think we can win it. I really do. I actually believe if we can have a very effective medium tyre stint, we could challenge for the win. We might need a bit of luck with some traffic. You know, maybe Verstappen doesn't run away with it. Someone gets in front of him or something. If not, then definitely a podium, I feel like, should be the priority here. I want to try and get a strong result to make up for the last race. So... Hopefully, guys, look forward to it. It's going to be plenty of overtakes and aggression. We need to get, you know, through the cars and make as much progress as possible. Strategy-wise, we're going to start, of course, on the medium and then switch to the soft tire. So it should work out for us. I'm going to run a little bit less than two laps, which is going to be about two and a half laps negative on the fuel. And I'm going to quickly adjust the 
uh, tire pressures. We're going to just push them up a little bit as we are on the mediums, and I want to be able to push. So, yeah, I think we're ready to go. I'm excited. Hopefully, you are too. Leave a like if that's the case, and let's get into the race. Well, let's do this then, shall we? Have a bit of fun and see what we can do in the mediums. Five lights on a Jeddah. And we're underway. Good start, actually. Not too bad to say we're on mediums, but Matsushita and Sonoda do get their moves. Both Japanese drivers getting past here. Not really much I can do. I'm going to try and get a decent exit. Oh my god, Sonoda moves right across me there. I have to completely get out of it. Into the S as we go. Lots of two wide action, so take your pick. Pick your poison as far as, you know, what line you take. But we're down to last place. Seems like everybody's on soft from what I can see. Let's see if we can make some progress though. Might be a chance here. Into the hairpin. Sonoda aggressive again. Three wide between Sonoda, Matsushita and Mazepin. We're going to try to get through here as uh, Mazepin gets run into the wall up high. What was that? NASCAR IndyCar. Into the chicane we go. We're going to get this run out of here. Beautiful chicane. We set that one up beautifully. Now we're going to drag race Sonoda down to the braking zone. I know we've got the legs on him in the long run. Our straight line speed is very good. And we make the move stick. Let's use a bit more ERS. I've been saving it the whole lap to use it now in these final, pretty much final sector really. Here we go. Closing in. The AI moving all over the place. We're going to have a look around the outside of Matsushita here. As he's a bit slow on the apex mid corner. Another drag race coming up. Do we have the juice? Yes, we do. And we're ahead. Up into P19 for now. He's going to send one back up the inside. I'm going to send one on Latifi, though, around the outside. Anything you can do, I can do better, mate. And we're going to try to squeeze through on Latifi here, but it's going to be a side-by-side -side into the chicane, or into the S's, more like. But we do get the moves done around the outside. We've got Schumacher now. And Latifi here, and also Lungard battling away as we try to make some more progress. Good start from us, though, on the mediums. Closing in on Mick Schumacher as well here. Have a look around the outside. We'll cut back underneath. Let's keep this pressure on. We know the Haas is slow, so this won't be a hard overtake to execute. Just got to be patient. Lovely run through there. Absolutely now the chicane. And we managed to get on the right side, which is the better place to be. There we go. Cleared Mick, and now we can get on to Latifi. I don't know why they are so slow at the end of that straight, but we'll take it. Here we go. To the outside. The P16. We'll have to get this one done on the brakes. Latifi tries to hang on. And he does hang on, to be fair. Good defensive driving, but we'll get another run down to the first corner as DRS will now be enabled on lap three. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. But if he tries to hang on again, but this time we're going to run him out of road and get that move done. So P16, DRS enabled. Lovely stuff. Let's make sure we keep pushing here. Pace is good car's working well already I can tell we're well balanced for the race I mean I knew we were going to be starting from the back so obviously I've made the corresponding setup adjustments for the race so we should be fast let's have a look then we may have a chance to pass Lungard and Ricardo here if we set them up correctly underneath the hotel we go we're gonna try and get Lungard if we can here into the final corner and then I'd like to get Ricardo into turn one if possible but we'll see how that goes Lungard closing in Maybe not the final corner, but if we can get the exit, we may get them both here. Let's see. We're going to get the double slipstream. Three wide here. Okay, if we continue to use fuel at this rate, then we won't have enough to reach the end of the race. No, I'm not going to go for that. We're just going to set up the exit instead. Oh, there's two wide roadblocks killing me, man. We're losing so much time. Loon guy around the outside of Ricardo goes through, we're going to try and go through as well, but Ricardo stops it from happening. Oh, nice run through there. Absolutely nailed that bit. Here we go then. Can we go around the outside? 
going to require a big, big commitment. Have to run in super deep. But we get the exit. And we've got the legs to get ahead of Ricardo. Into there. Now we just got to get Lungard. Knock him off. And then we're P14. And then we've got to try and reattach ourselves and reconnect to the massive DR train right now with the Red Bull of the Snap, and I'm assuming, running away out front. Let's get Lungard here. This should be an easy move with some DRS assistance. Lungard defends the inside, but doesn't matter, mate. We're coming through. Into the final corner. Put the car right in the middle of the track. Exit wasn't that great. So we're going to be under pressure here from Lungard, who will now have the DRS himself. Let's run him up high and try to hang in there for the brakes. On the inside, I'm going to squirt the throttle on. I'm going to squeeze him into the curb a little bit and make the move. There we go. P14. Good start to the race. Let's push on now and get onto the back of that DRS train. Got some action up ahead. I can see it. The AI going too wide through this S section and they're losing everything at the minute in terms of pace and time. Look at this Giovinazzi side by side here with Stroll. Look how much we've cooled up. We don't even have DRS yet. We're three tenths behind. Great first sector though. Personal best by half a second. Absolutely nailed that. As we now close in on these three. Let's see. Expecting maybe possible wing damage. So we have to proceed with caution. My front right is starting to get very hot. Giovinazzi, Ocon, Stroll. All going at it here as we look for a move. Giovinazzi's had a poor exit. Do I dare force the three wide through here? It's very, 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 very tricky. I'm boxed in. I can't do nothing about this. Having to adapt to the AI's erraticness through here. Just have to take one for the team and back off for a second. We'll go again. On Giovinazzi. Here we go. To the outside. Can we late break late enough? Oh, that's very, very tight. But we're going to keep our nose in. Giovinazzi's going to get the acceleration early on, though. Stroll's going to be a sitting duck here. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's going to be three wide between these guys. We're going to get Stroll. And we're going to have a look at Giovinazzi and Ocon. Let's see. These two are still going forward. I'm having to really focus here because I'm trying to not have contact with them. As the AI are very, very erratic with their racecraft around here. Giovinazzi gets ahead. I might get the chance to get Ocon here. That's a great exit out of there. I've set that one up perfectly. Here we go. Oh, Ocon moves across at the last minute under braking, but we're going to commit. We bang tyres slightly as we're still going at it. On the exit, though, we're going to use the ERS to edge ahead. A bit wide through there, but we've got it done. And crucially, we've made the move. Now we can go after Giovinazzi. Hopefully into the final corner. If we close in enough through here. Straight line speed very strong in this race. As uh, Giovinazzi really slowing down through there. Quite a bit actually. Now we're going to get the DRS. This should be an easy pass. I may tactically wait for the pit straight. To be honest. Might be a better option. Let's see if we can make this work. Yeah, this will be better. Easy, easy move this way. Let's get him. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Right, job done. Schumacher here, battling with signs for P10. We've got an alternate strategy. Copy that. Yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Look at this. These two are really going at it. Another opportunity here for some more positions to be made. Schumacher's keeping his nose in there with signs, and he's got it done. Around the outside, what a fantastic move there from Michael Schumacher on Carlos Sainz. Didn't quite get the exit there, but we'll try and get past Carlos here. But Michael running in the points, good to see. He definitely has picked up his performances right at the very end of the season. Too little, too late, who knows. It might come down to high performance in Abu Dhabi. But let's see then, let's try and get a pair of them here. We're starting to make some big progress now on these tyres. You know, the guys on Softs won't have much longer to go as we rapidly close in on signs through there. We're going to go all the way here. Oh, Schumacher's early on the brakes through there. That completely caught me out. I thought I had to avoid him there for a second. Well, signs is going to be looking for the re-overtake here. We're just going to use our teammate as a shield. 
for the outside we go on Michael Schumacher and just like that around the outside lovely move but we don't have the DRS which is quite surprising Michael goes for it we're going to cover off the inside to full signs to have a little look elsewhere into the first corner oh this is close but we are just about going to go around the outside and get signs there we go so both cars in the top 10 let's try and tactically not cost Michael any time when we get past and try to make it work for both of us it's not going to happen here I think Michael's pulling away a little bit right this should be the move here just got to set it up underneath the hotel section we'll get this one done nice and early pull away as much as we can before the final corner and then just let Michael DRS us on the main straight and it shouldn't cost him any time whatsoever perfect got the car slow down there got the exit as well Michael's pretty close actually so he may re-challenge I'm gonna keep my battery on to try and stay ahead here comes Michael up the inside gotta leave some room at all times but we're gonna hold on to this as we had a kind of pit lane there there we go though job done P8 for us and battling ahead Leclerc and Russell the AI just lose so much time in brutal combat here this is why we're so strong I mean I'm strong anyway you know one lap pace in qualifying was pretty good but we are flying we're dragging Michael along here to these guys as well in the process three cars here all battling for P5 now we have Leclerc pitting Bottas pitting and one of them Red Bulls in there as well that's Max Verstappen Michael pits as well Michael is coming in for his stop so that's worked out well for us getting past Michael it hasn't cost him any time he stays ahead of signs he may even gain a bit in the pit stops you never know having the advantage of the final pit box is always key let's close in on George here try to get within DRS range before he pits end of this lap ok some information on signs they seem to have an issue and that's good to hear signs will start dropping back lovely stuff Okay, we've just managed to get ourselves within the RS range of Russell on the pit straight. Didn't quite get it on this one, which was what I was hoping for, but we'll get it on the main straight anyways. So we'll gain a little bit. On for a personal best as well. This could be a new fastest lap, to be fair. Not quite 26-0. As we take P1 in this race. So we're out front on our own. Now it's all about pretty much qualifying laps. Push myself every lap to the maximum that I can achieve. So let's see how that goes. We're snapping behind. 3.8 seconds of course he is the net race leader let's see how that gap looks I think we can hold our own I really do I think the pace is there the tires are holding on I think we can do this some information on Norris they're slowing down it seems like there's some kind of problem with their car so Lando's going to slow down we set another pretty much personal best it's happened 25.8 only two tenths faster than me that's good, we can match that. Okay, at the current pace, we won't have enough fuel for the end of the race. Consider adopting a more conservative strategy to preserve what you have left. It's gonna be fine, Jeff, don't worry about it. Right, come in at the end of this lap. 25-8 from Verstappen. We're gonna box this lap. I've done my stint, our pace is good. We're gonna challenge, I think, Perez and Vettel, who are battling right now for P5. I think we're gonna be near that mix, especially this in-lap is strong. Easy does it through here. We're going to pit. Now we can attack the pit entry, but we cannot attack the exit, so we have to be careful. We're going to be quite aggressive there. That's pretty decent. Now we can't touch the white lines on the exit because I think that's bugged out and we might get a penalty. Now I think we're going to be racing Perez, Norris, maybe. It depends, but the pit exit is going to favour us. Exit, exit now. It's a great stop, you know, it's two seconds. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. It's a great stop. We're going to be side by side and ahead of Gasly. P2. Wow. Wow, what an in-lap. Pit entry was perfect. Pit stop was two seconds flat. Exit on point, and now we've got the soft tyres on, maybe. We're going to probably overheat like crazy, but even then, these are going to be so fast, I think. And especially in the first few laps. Could we win this race? Max has got a massive gap to be fair. 15 seconds over us. But you never know. We may have the chance. We're going to have to be super consistent. Every lap. It's going to have to be over a second a lap. If we want to catch him. So uh, we'll see. I think right now though I'll take P2 in a faster lap. If I'm being absolutely honest with you. 
I don't think we're going to catch Max. We're not gaining enough. Max is actually still very fast, even on mediums. But we will secure our fastest lap, without a doubt. 24-8. Very good pace. That's the second fastest than Max's fastest lap. But I think that's as bad as this is going to get now. It's all about, you know, will the soft tire hang on? What's the drop-off like? Can we keep chipping away? If there's a safety car or something, maybe a VSC, we might get the restart timed. Oh, no, bruv, not again. What? Oh, what is... Oh, no. Really? That's it. Like I said in the last episode, we are turning this setting off for ne next season, I think. What a joke. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. Anthony Davidson. How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. You know what? I'm not even upset, I'm just disappointed, you know, like... <laughs> I really thought we'd be safe for the rest of the season, considering we just put a brand new engine in as well. We've had maxed out durability the entire season. So, oh, it's really painful, man. Like, there's two ways of looking at it. I do like the failures because it adds an element that's genuinely unpredictable and painful. But it does really hurt. And um, I think next season, if I were to keep them on, it would be because we're going to start the season with a maxed out car and I want to make sure that at no point am I dominating or winning too comfortably. Um, but if the car next season doesn't start out as the number one or, you know, near the top, then I'll maybe consider turning them off. So, um, yeah, this is a record though. Four failures, I think, now in a season, in a 16 race season. That is, that is painful. If it was over 22 races, we might still be in the championship, but still... Another L for us, Verstappen wins, Gasly second, Perez third, Lando P4 ahead of Bottas, Russell P6 ahead of Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll. Michael Schumacher P9 in the points, I think his first points of the season and on merit as well. I'll confirm that now really quickly, Sonoda P10 wrapping up the top 10, Ocon, Giovinazzi, Ricardo, Lungard, Matsushita, Sainz, Schumacher, Latifi, Mazepin, Eilop and then Leclerc and myself with the fastest lap out of the points. Now then, standings, without the P7, uh, Bottas overtakes us, Leclerc still ahead of us. It's crazy how we've lost at least a win and two second places this season. Or, or, say a third, okay, so our first, a second, and a third for mechanical issues this season. Um, that is ridiculous, that's so many points, you know, 25 plus 15 is 40, plus 18 is 58. We should be 58 points better off right now, we should be about on 157 points heading into the last race so um yeah dare i say we should be third maybe even challenge of a p2 in the last race but oh well it is what it is for michael schumacher though confirmation those are his first points over the season so fair play michael good job to save the best till last uh, we've got one more race to go we'll see what happens next up in the constructors with p5 and any chance we had of catching ferrari has now gone um shame really because that was a really weak race from ferrari they um i think had no cars in the points yeah no car in the points for ferrari so yeah we could have given them a challenge i could have had you know at least 18 points plus michael's two 
we could have had a chance in the last race, but still, it is what it is. Small points dropped and the story continues. Either way, Red Bull have won the Constructors and Max Verstappen has also won the Drivers' Championship. So Red Bull do the double here in Jeddah and wrap it up with a race to spare. That's it from us though. I'm not going to do upgrades because we've done them all. There's nothing to do. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the race. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more. As always, I do daily F1 content on my channel. I do have a break coming up soon, I will admit. I'll talk about that in a future video, but... Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that painful race. It was fun until we broke down. So for 18 laps, it was a good experience. But yeah, as always, a big shout out to the channel members for supporting my content as always. I really, really appreciate you guys. Once again, Merry Christmas. See you guys. Hopefully you have some good holidays. Let me in the comments down below. I'd love to know if you guys had a good time. As always, check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them. And I'll check you all out in the next one. Until then, take care and adios.